Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome to Internet Cafe Simulator 2. I played this on stream yesterday and I had a lot of fun, so I thought we'd go ahead and start a series. Let's start a new game. And we're going to name our cafe Ventex HQ, which is the name of my Discord if you're not familiar. Let's go ahead and start. So in this game, we own a internet cafe. It's pretty much like a little, I don't know, kind of like a U-Haul storage. And we're turning it into a big old place, going from rags to riches. I made a lot of mistakes during the live stream, and looking back on it, I know a lot of ways we can improve. And so we're going to do that here in this episode. I'm looking forward to it. This game's pretty zany, pretty wacky, lots of fun. This is our apartment that we start off in. You have to save by sleeping in bed. Nice little rug. We got a little hookah machine right here. You can sprint, you can punch, you can crouch, and you can jump. Let's go. All right, we got to take the elevator, go to our business. I'm waiting on it. Light switch for the hallway, but there is no light switch inside, as far as I can tell, which is odd. Okay, so we have to go to the first floor. Let's go on down. There is a second floor, which is a really nice internet cafe. That's our competition. We need to beat that guy. Here, let me, let me go show you our competition real quick. Let's go to the second floor. Let me show you what we're fighting, what we're up against. Oh, no, I went to go second. No, go down to two. Oh, shoot, this elevator's scary. It's feel like an elevator you would see in a horror game. Here we are. All right. So they get one hour free just off the bat. Look at that cat photo. How can we compete? But check this out. This guy's Valve. Okay, they got older computers, so maybe that's why. Maybe we'll be okay. So for the console, it looks like you have a console, a table, controllers, and a chair and the screen. Oh, that's a cute doggy. Alright, so this is what we're facing. Not too crazy. We can do it. We can make it. Now let's go see our internet cafe. Down on the first floor. Oh, come on. There it is. All right, so the map's pretty small. You got the secondhand shop over here. Oh crap, okay. You've got a nightclub over here. We got my internet cafe. And then up here we have the uh, Bitcoin miner. So nothing too crazy. It is a small indie simulator, but it is a lot of fun as well. This is one guy that will buy a lot of stuff from. It says open up your map. We have to go to our cafe, which is right along the corner here. Oh, this guy. This is what I like to call a Squid Games guy, and he has a C4 attached to his chest, and he will run into your shop and detonate, and it's super annoying. This is our place, this is our crib. Here it is. Now we have to go ahead and clean up the floor first. It's super dirty, very dirty in here. Okay, now it is very dirty. Can we get it to dirty? So much trash, Jesus. But like I said, it's kind of just like a U-Haul storage pretty much. This is as big as it starts. Now we got down to dirty. Let's try to make this place very clean. All right, clean. Come here, cigarette. Oh, I keep missing that trash. There is one more footstep somewhere. Where though? Sometimes that one piece of dirt is pretty hard to find. Really gotta look for it. I do not see it. I'm sure we'll come by it eventually. Let's put that down. We also have a thermometer here. So if people think it's super cold, they're going to leave. You want to keep it warm. So we're going to have to get an AC unit. Oh, we also have this spray here. So we can make it smell nice. It looks like it already smells really nice. 
We got some doggies and some kitties outside. Just to say what up to. Alright. So let's go ahead and build our first little desk here. Put it here in the corner. Just right. Alright, we gotta put this chair. We can rotate it with Q and R. Just put it right here under the desk. Now it says we need a monitor, a desktop, a keyboard, and a mouse. But let's follow the tutorial. So it says to go ahead and switch on the power. Perfect. What is this last piece of dirt? It's going to drive me insane not finding it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Got it. Alright. So now we have to buy the computer case, the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse on Zamazor. In order to access Zamazor, you have to come to your little desktop over here. This is our computer. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Takes a little second. There we are. Uh, we can go to our cafe here. This is where we'll get reviews so far. We're at three stars just to start off with. We can purchase food. I believe this might help with when we get a chef. People can buy it. We need a vending machine. People can buy stuff out of the vending machine, I guess, as well. Uh, we have my cafe, which we can change the walls, the floors, and the ceilings. Uh, we can also go up here. I didn't know this in the live stream, but we have the automatic sliding door, the tip box, hot dog carts, old speakers, speaker systems, coffee machine, burglar alarm, uh, POS device, toaster, microwave, urinal, fridge, toilet, mirror, hand dryer, liquid soap. If we go over here, this is the room. So we have a new room, kitchen. Toilet, stairs, upstairs, and upstairs. So lots of room to expand. Now let's go ahead and go to... Uh, this is basically our setup. We only have our PC running right now. We can change the wallpaper. Let's go ahead and change it to this sweet, adorable little kitty. Whenever people log on, a request will be made. And you have to approve it to let them sign on. And then any orders we have. If the customer creates an order request it will appear here now we also have our apps over here so we have clothes which pretty much just lets you change your sleeve or give you a glove since all you see is your hand ever pretty interesting though I like that it's pretty clever and funny uh, we got skin cases here I don't know what these do we'll have to purchase them when we start making a lot of money we never got to that point though Fruit slot, just a little fun spin game, little casino game. We have some mail, which I never get any emails yet. Haven't made it that far. We have Kawaii, which is some little coin games. We can sell some coins to get some boost, it looks like. Treasure hunt, lucky wheel, claw machines. Just some fun stuff to kill time. Uh, crack, I'm not sure what we do here yet either. Something we'll have to explore together. Bills, sometimes you get electric bills or anything like that. You'll pay them there. Uh, Warcry coins. So you can actually download a game called Warcry. And then once you are in the game, you can get coins and you can exchange the coins for money. But trust me, I did it extensively. It is not worth it. We have crypto here, which is shares that you could buy. And it has your portfolio, how much you own, how much you can sell it for. And then you can see whether it goes up or down depending on the stock each day and we have the apps let's go ahead and download our apps we got spot right here which lets us listen to music once we get some speakers in here we got steam which allows us to put games on the computer so people can play games miner so we can get that miner the bitcoin miner virus s so we don't get viruses on the computers employees so we can hire people war cry is that game that i said is not really worth it but it's okay to kill some time and check it out and then we have the CMD, which is a great program that allows you to use a computer more professionally. So we'll download all the apps. There's no reason not to. And oh, let's go to Zamazor. Now we need to get a computer case. So we'll just start off with the old stuff for now. We need to get an air conditioning machine for sure. Otherwise, people will complain that it's too cold. We have a chair. We have a desk. We need a keyboard. We need a monitor. And we need a mouse. Don't really need a mouse pad. 
It's just something extra. We have a desk, we have everything else, so we'll go to our checkout. So this is going to be $967. Okay. So we went ahead and ordered it. So our order is on the way. We can go ahead and press Q to get out of here. You can also press F to kind of zoom into your screen and lock your view. Perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and move this guy just right over here by the computer. And I think we'll set up another desk right here next to it. This baseball bat is for burglars or people that just try to leave without paying you your money first. Let's talk to this beggar here. I know everything that happens in this city, man. You are the owner of the new internet cafe. They smashed the man who worked at the cafe before you, man. If he got on well with me, this wouldn't have happened to him. If you want to build BTC mining rig in this city, you have to pay me license money first, son. Let's go ahead and pay him. This guy actually helps us out quite a bit. Oh, another thing that I want to get before I grab my boxes is it's really important to go ahead and buy a backpack. So my first run through, I was like, I pressed tab and I was like, okay, backpack. And I was trying to put stuff in here, but you actually have to purchase a backpack first. Look at that, 3,000 pro backpack. Let's go with the basic, put it on. Uh, we will need more baseball bats, so let's go ahead and grab a couple baseball bats. Uh, how much money we got? 40, 418. Let's get two. Might as well get three. We're really going to need baseball bats. People love to run away without paying you. People love to burglarize your shop. Trust me when I say invest in baseball bats early. So we're going to put these down right here. Oh, come here. And then I'll keep one on me. Oh, get over there. Now we have our stuff ready. So monitor, let me put my bat away. Let me grab the monitor. I can put that in my backpack as well. Great thing about backpacks is it allows you to carry multiple things at once like that. Otherwise you have to take one and then go with it. Take another, go with it. Oh, this, I underestimated how big this was. Let me try to place this closer to the edge. How do I put this on there? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, maybe even closer to the edge, like right up there. Here we go. <laughs> it works. It works. As long as the customers can play on the computer, it works. All right, we got a few more things to buy or to grab. There goes our mouse. Let's put our mouse down here. There's our computer case. It's raining. When it's raining, the customers are more likely to come in because... You want to get out of the rain, spend some time on the computer. Okay, that's all set up. And let's get our AC unit. That's going to be very important to keep them happy. We'll put it right up against here. And whenever you get the AC unit, you just want to put it on auto. That will automatically make it a temperature that people like. See, it's warm. Now we don't have to fiddle with the controls at all. After that, we'll go ahead and... Open the cafe, as our tutorial says. And then we just wait for our first customer to arrive. So, just make sure they're not running away with your money. They might also ask for additional time. We also have skills down here. If you press X, you'll get into your skill tree. Uh, definitely recommend the cafe ones first to get your business going. And then, once you got those all completed, you can start working on these physical ones. You, then you won't even need a bat at some point. This player looks like... Oh! Yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Damn it! First episode, like, a few minutes into the game, you're gonna blow everything up. Oh, Squid Game guy. Why? Why do you do this to me? I'm just a small business owner trying to get... Like, I just opened up. Like, literally just now. I haven't even had my first customer... We have this guy blowing stuff up. Wow, wow, wow. There we are. Alright, now we gotta set everything up perfectly again. Golly! We have to make sure you turn the air conditioner back on whenever he does that. Because it'll turn off automatically. So annoying. Let's put this right here. Oh, I clicked it, but it didn't do nothing. There we go. Awesome. Keyboard... Right here. 
Most people are right-handed, I guess, so I should really put this on the right side. Right? Makes sense to me. The majority of people are right-handed in the world. Only a few rare people are left-handed. I know I'm right-handed. My brother's left-handed. We're going to put this lamp right here. Because eventually we're going to have two here and two here. Actually, we might actually put it right here. That might be better. There we go. Plenty of light in here. Now, we're still waiting on our first customer. Just make sure that your cafe is open. There was one time when it closed for some reason, and I forgot to turn it open. I was waiting for a customer forever, and I was like, what is happening? Well, you can't come in when it's closed. Ah, oh, check this guy out. Bald head. Tank top that says family. <laughs> I love it. So good. We got Squid Games guy right there that blew up my shop already. This guy is looking like a mixture between Chuck Norris, maybe, perhaps. Oh, customer? No, no customer yet. We'll get one eventually. There's also a guy that looks like a former president. I'll have to show you him whenever I get a glance at him. He's not coming around right now. Customer? Damn it. No customers yet. Please! Someone! Look at my quaint little shop. Doesn't this look lovely? Yes, we got a customer. Alright, so he's gonna log on. We have to grant him access. So, request approve. You have completed the tutorial missions. Now you can freely play the game. If you want, you can take some quests by walking around the city. The game is saved when you sleep. So, just FYI, in case you're curious, the only person that seems to give you quests from what I've seen is that beggar person. So that's why you want to go ahead and pay him his money. He's going to do really well for you and give you a lot of good stuff later on in the game. I know the last time, after I paid him money, he told me, hey, if you give me $200, you won't have your electricity turn off anymore. And this happens a lot early. And if you pay him 200 it seemed like it stopped. Which was amazing. Because having the electricity turn off means these guys don't stay for as long as they are supposed to stay. And then you lose on revenue. See your, see your skin right there. That's weird. This guy kind of looks like me going to work. Except for I like to have my sleeves rolled up. And I don't have just a mustache. I like the mustache and beard combo. I still don't see that... Oh, there's Valve guy right here. He's really staying on there for a while, so thankfully we'll probably get quite a bit of money from him once he's done. Let's make sure he doesn't leave. If he tries to leave without paying, you want to club him, and then you'll get money from him. So many doggies and kitties. A lot of graffiti. There's a Teletubby running over there. That guy is usually the thief, so you want to be careful. If he's sneaking in your shop, he's trying to steal something. And when they get down to the end over there, your item will disappear. He won't disappear, so you can hit him, but your item's gone. So you got to stay aware. You can hire employees like a bouncer and a maid and a chef. But at the beginning, we're kind of limited on funds, so I can't really do that quite yet. Here we go. $111, not bad. Let's see how much it smells in here. Not too bad. Now it smells perfect. Very good. Okay, I don't see the president yet. <laughs> you will love it once you see him. I want to stay by my cafe, though, in case anyone else comes in. Now, how much money do we have? 449. We did get seven little... What's it called? Skill points or something? That you can spend, but it's not enough to buy anything. This cop will stop you sometimes randomly for no reason. He'll just want to search you. And if you move away, then he'll charge you money. So be careful of that, too. All right. Did you have a shirt of yourself saying you love yourself? Oh, maybe that's your dad. Oh, wait. Who is that? Is that a streamer? Who is that? He looks familiar. But I don't watch a lot of streams. I only have like a few people I watch. And then um, 
mostly I like to read in my downtime when I'm not making videos for y'all. Read and write is what I like to do. Hello? See, now that they're comfortable, they're staying for a while. I had the issue when they would come in, they'd sit down, and they'd get up, and they'd leave and pay me like five bucks. It was so annoying. And then we installed this guy here, and that put an end to all that. Now they're chilling. What a lovely day. I'm watching this guy right here. The squid game guy. Better not come into my cafe. I'm going to swing at you if you do. Keep walking. Vin Diesel's going for a run. I wonder where this setting is. Everything's so quaint. And we had a Camel Prime instead of Amazon. <laughs> Obviously, we can't have Amazon Prime. But interesting that choice that they chose a camel to deliver us goods. There's a lot of fruit stands. Not only here, but you can also see over here more fruit. There's a Teletubby. Come jogging through. Good on you, Teletubby. You got it. Now, eventually we'll get another computer and we'll start mining Bitcoin. But trust me when I say this Warcry game, it's fun, but it is not worth it. We got one three-star review so far. So that's pretty good. We're maintaining our three stars. All right. Let's see if there's any dirt. There's one footstep. We want to keep it clean, keep it smelling good. Keep the customer happy. Grade A service is what we offer here at the Ventex HQ Internet Cafe. And if you try to run, I will club you in the back of the head, and it'll be hilarious. Mm -mm -mm, what a lovely day. Oh, here he is. All right. $111 again. So far, people are paying me money, which doesn't happen that often. Now, while we're waiting, we could go ahead and try some slot machines. So if we go to www... Oh, we got another review, too. What does that review say? One star. Do not enter your private accounts. Computers have viruses. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and upload. We'll get a virus scanner. We'll get the premium. Buy premium and protect yourself from viruses with automatic scanning. So now we don't even have to do everything. Every three days, it looked like we pay $50, and then we don't have to worry about viruses, which is great. We could go ahead and start a preliminary scan right now. Uh, this Warcry Classic looks like this. So here you have this little character. The controls are really wonky because it's a game within a game. Oh, they always scare me when they run like that yelling because I feel like they're trying to steal something. Let me approve his time. So you'll fight little slimes like this. Unfortunately, the game doesn't pause when you exit out or when the electricity turns off. Let's make sure he pays me. Nope, he's not paying me. So I'm going to club him, even if it's $5. It's the principle of everything. So $4.60. That's what happens. That's what happens when you owe me any kind of money. It's the principle of it. I don't care if it was $4 or $100. Let's log back on. Boot it up. All right, so again, here we are. We died because even though the electricity turned off, our game didn't stop. So we kill these guys. Oh, we can control the roll. Kind of a little fun mini game. Like I said, it's not worth it. I really thought if I grind it, I could get it. So you'll grab a little bit of gold here. Sometimes they have. Uh, potions. Sometimes they have material that you can sell to the traders over here. Like here's a gelatin. There's a potion. And then you can go to this guy right here. This guy you can just buy potions, which are pointless. You get so many. But you can sell these gelatins and you get other materials you can sell. And then you can upgrade your belt, your cloth, your glove, your shoes, and your helmet. And you can work your way all the way to fighting the biggest guys, which is these little, like, golems over there. But again, it is not worth it. They barely drop gold, sometimes barely drop material, and it takes a long time. I love to comment badly. Well, we can't do nothing about someone that loves to comment badly. Okay, this guy gave us $2. I wonder why. It smells okay. Uh, there is hardly any dirt in here. There's like one footstep somewhere. 
somewhere. There's one little thing of dirt. Ah, there. Under my chair, of course. And, uh, the temperature is warm, so he just... Guess he didn't really have anything to do. Let's give this guy access. Approve. Alright, we're gonna stand ready with our bat, just in case someone comes through. Oh, wow, he just left immediately, too. Two dollars. Damn. This is an issue. I can't have them just leaving, because I need to make some money. Alright. Well... C'est la vie, that's how it goes sometimes with these internet cafes. Sometimes you just gotta come in and check something, an account, pay a bill or something like that, and then that's it. But yep, this is our humble beginning. Eventually, we'll save up enough money that we can buy another one. And then once we get two of them going in here, we're gonna be doing pretty well. Then we're going to get some Bitcoin miners, and then eventually we'll get a Bitcoin, and we can sell that Bitcoin for crazy money. I mean, look on here. Crypto. For right now, the Bitcoins are going for $31,000. That is a crap ton of money. Like, one Bitcoin, and we're pretty much set for most everything. Let's go ahead and log back on to our computer while we wait. So, another thing, we can play the fruit slots. Let's get our spin. A lot of peaches. Okay, I'm not sure how this works exactly. $2,000 to buy a free spin. Wow. Oh, we have someone that just came in. They want access to the computer, so let's go ahead and prove them. The cafe is not nice. There are zero games you could play, lol. So they looks like they want a game. So let's go to our Steam. We have... What is this? Rush B Simulator. We have Toss a Coin Simulator. We have the Cyber the Hotfix. Half Game 4. Minor speed run. We have Fat Smoke. Skin Royale. The Legend of Green Boy. League of Dode, Dote 4. War, War Cry Classic, which is what we played. Red Horse 2. Chicken Pan Royale. Dad of Boy. Zombie with Us 2. Zombie with Us 1. Zifa Early Access. Bean Astronaut. We have Mr. Assassin, Rayloff the Awakener, Helmet Guy, and First Fantasy? Yeah, First Fantasy. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the Bean Astronaut. Uh oh, this person's trying to run without paying. We're going to have to club her. That's why I got Bat ready to go. Give me my money. They can hit you pretty hard, too. Look at that kick. She's crazy, this woman. Nice, $27. She tried to do a front kick. There's one more piece of dirt. Where? Where are you, dirt? I will find you and I will destroy you. Seriously, where are you? It's usually by my chair when I don't see it. Or under the desk or something. I do not know where this piece of dirt is. So hard to see. I wish I would highlight. Oh well. How's it smell? It smells great. Okay. We're making it. We're making the monies. Oh, the doggies are sleeping back here. Doggies are sleeping. Do we have any skill points? We have 30. We need 9. So this will increase the likelihood of more customers coming to your cafe. Easy. People leave more tips in the tip box. We need to get a tip box. Let's go ahead and go online and buy a tip box. So let's go to Amazor. Let's get out of that. And actually, no, wait. We got to go to my cafe right here and go to Oglier, whatever that is. We have to buy a tip box. 294. Oh, that's a lot of money. Now we have our tip box right here so people can put tips in it. Excellent. Just in case they're feeling generous. Let me hold on to this bat though. Now that it's raining, we should have more customers, especially with that perk as well. Looks like my computer screen's going crazy. Let's exit out of that. People running by. I played for one hour, but it felt like three hours. It's like torment. 
My bad. My bad. At least we only have one one star. It feels cozy in here. There's no viruses now. And everything's great. Uh oh. Okay, she's just chilling. She's chilling. Approve. I get so nervous when they come running. Yeah, once we get a second computer, things are going to start picking up. It starts off slow, like most simulators. But it really picks up pretty quickly once you get going. What are you watching? Censored? Zorn Bub? What are you doing on Zorn Bub? Get off that. Get off the Zorn Bub. It's not appropriate. You better tip me for sure after that. I see the uh, raindrop right here. You can see a little black box <laughs> over the raindrop. Every time the raindrop hits, you see a little black box over it. That's hilarious. <laughs> you can also do this. I was doing this the other day. Check this out. I like to break stuff. I like to break games a little bit. Pretty cool. You can see the clouds, the sky, skybox. So this, I guess, will be the upstairs right here. You see there's a room back there. So you can see the stairs right here. Wow. So we expand out, it looks like, and then it goes up. And you can even come up over here. That's pretty cool. You can see the railing. All right. So some future content there. Once we get going. I still want to see that president. We have to show you the president before the end of the episode. She is chilling, which is fine with us. We need a little bit more so we can get our tip box really going. This guy. You lift, bro. Rainy, rainy day. Lots of splashing. People love to jog and do push-ups and squats. It's a very fit kind of little community here. Look at this. Jog, 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 go. They don't even know where they're going. They're just doing laps. Literally just goes into the square. Oh, she's trying to leave without paying. About to club her in the back of the head. 80 bucks. Easy. Is it clean in here? We're missing something. Something that's still dirty in here. I don't know what. Oh, no, it's clean. It's perfectly clean. No, over here. Wait, what? It looks... It's perfectly clean here. And then when I get here, it's dirty. That is strange. Someone else to use the computer. Let's go ahead and improve. So they want to use it for 30 minutes. A little bit of spray. Okay, maybe it's not dirty since it says it's clean over there. Oh, they want to extend their time. Let's go ahead and improve that. Another 30 minutes. Perfect. I think it is clean. I think the game's just like confused now. Little bit confused. We might close up shop and go ahead and save it. After this person gets done. Let's make sure they don't steal from us. Oh, here they come. Nice. 24 bucks. It's not that much, but hey. Hey, you guys, a tip too. Hey, $5. Sweet. Thank you for that tip. That is awesome. I wish I could move my setup somewhere, but I can't interact with any of this. I can't give myself new equipment or anything, it looks like. Strangely. I could just do it for them. I can give them better stuff. I wonder if I get a comfier chair, if they're going to be more willing to stay. But I need money, period. Right now I got 243 I should have, yes, enough for the tip box. People leave more money in the tip box. Heck yeah, that's going to be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and close it down, though, for now. There it is. Let's go ahead and shut our garage so we don't... Oh, let's turn off the electricity first. No electricity bill. Let's shut the garage door on our Ventex HQ. Let's go ahead and head to our casa right over yonder, right across the way. Let's go upstairs to the third floor. Wait for it to close, then I can go third. Kill mode. 
Here we are. Home sweet home. Let's go ahead and sleep in our bed to save the game. Now we should have a quest in the morning from that beggar guy. Game saved. We're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description. I'll see you guys next time.